Hello, I'm Matthew Richardson and welcome to The Whiteboard, a weekly look at what makes our star players and teams tick. We'll closely analyse different tactics and techniques used in the competition. Today, we're going to have a close look at Magpie Ford, Travis Cloak, and undoubtedly his greatest weapon is contested marking. You see that one there, his opponent goes to the ground, he keeps his feet and kicks a goal. That is a vital aspect of contested marking. This one here is all strength through his hips, he protects the drop zone, which is another thing you have to do. The other thing he does is he always has his arms fully extended and takes the ball at its highest point, as in those two instances there. He's undoubtedly the best contested mark in the game. He smashed Podsy Adley last year and he is already leading that static again this year in 2012. This one here comes directly out of the centre. I love the way he keeps his eye on the ball. He has the strength to brush his opponent aside with one hand and take the mark. And in this one here, it's all about strength through the hips again. He's an absolute man mountain, Travis Cloak. The next thing we'll look at is his size and physique. He's 196 centimetres and 108 kilos. For him to be able to run like he does at that weight is unbelievable. And if you look at him compared to his opponent, Kyle Hooker, he has a 12 kilo differential on him, which makes him virtually impossible to beat. The other thing you need to do as a key forward is take marks on the lead. And Travis Cloak is the best in the competition at doing this as well. You have an obligation to lead and hit up for your midfielders and halfbacks. And he always does this. He's able to separate from his opponent here, Hooker, on Anzac Day. And he gets five metres within the space of about ten metres. It is something that you have to do. You have to continually present at the football. And that's what he does on every occasion. He doesn't mark the ball here, but his second effort is absolutely outstanding. His work rate and his ground play is absolutely enormous well. And as I said before, with his size, to have the work rate that he does, that's what makes him unbelievable. It is his obligation to get on the move at all times. It keeps his opponent guessing. He never makes his opponent feel comfortable by being on the move at all times. Here he is just working around while his teammates chip the ball sideways and backwards. But he's always trying to present an option for his teammates. The ball didn't come to him on that occasion, but it will. The more times you present, the more times you're going to get the footy. He didn't get it there, but then he showed great initiative to have a defensive side to his game. He corrals Hooker, didn't let him attack down the ground. In fact, he forced him backwards. Here he is again. His opponent gets the ball on the wing. He works him over, working back inside 50, but then pushes off and comes back at the ball carrier. Didn't get used but continues to present all day long. Fasolo ignored him there, and that's why he has become a great leader, and the leadership is the next part we'll have a look at. Here he is directing his teammate Tyson Goldstack where to stand. Doesn't get frustrated, continually trying to help his teammates and get them in the right position. Here he is again swapping with Goldstack, getting in the correct position for his teammates down the ground. This one here, he leads towards the boundary doesn't get used. This is bad leadership. He should have given his opponent and teammates a spray there, but he doesn't. He gives them the thumbs up. This is the part of the game I love most about Travis Cloak, splitting packs. As a key forward, it's your obligation to bring the ball to the ground, and that's what Travis Cloak always does. He always hits the packs at full pace. This one here on Anzac Day, he goes in, bang, down go three Essendon players. That means there's a Collingwood player free. On this occasion, it was Blair, who kicked the winning goal. We have a look at it at this angle. He hits it with full pace. Collingwood win the game. Goal kicking is probably not his greatest strength, and he continues to work on this aspect of his game. I hear he's been talking to Matthew Lloyd. That's an advantage. Matty Lloyd was one of the best. If we have a look at him here, he does like to have his right hand high on the ball. That's a little bit unconventional, and his left shoulder is dipped a little bit. As he comes in to kick the football, just raises his head a little bit early. And when you're not kicking well, you do tend to look up for the result a little bit early. It was, we have an, another look at that shot. Just looks up a little bit early. I think the great goal kickers always keep their heads down. That one did go through, but Tony Lockett always kept his head over the football. He's able to get great distance from long range, and I think that is where he actually kicks better from 50 metres out. One final bit of vision I think encapsulates everything we've spoken about today. His work rate in running Hooker around and the strength to push him aside 
he always continues to present and continue to run. And I think for any champion centre-half forward, that is the biggest part of the game, presenting. The more contests that you get to, the more possessions that you're going to get. And this is the case in this instant here. He comes back at the footy, doesn't get it put, lace out, but he works at ground level, pushes off, and then keeps running forward while his opponent hooker drops off. It's going to be a huge game this Friday night against the Bulldogs. Brian Lake will probably get the job. And to beat him, you need to block the space in front of him. You certainly need third man in assistance or you won't be able to beat him. Brian Lake will get that job, but it's going to be team defence that can beat Travis Cloak this week. So there you go. There's Travis Cloak's game broken down for you. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week on the whiteboard.